What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 198 of Dropouts. Uh, we got the whole team here today. We the got, whole team. We got Itty Bitty. <laughs> Thank we you. We got... <laughs> <laughs> that was me, right? <laughs> yes, Skylar, that's you. Thank you. Yes, uh, yes. and then we have even smaller one. <laughs> so Itty Bitty, even smaller one. Uh, thick, 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 big boy. What the and fuck, then, man? Um, Careful. <laughs> uh, scoop neck. Scoop neck <laughs> McGee. <laughs> And I want to say that, that me. I need we all need to apologize um, to Alyssa because she usually wears something that covers up to her neck, and she looks great. The first thing I said when I walked in is, "I love your shirt." No, I know, she I know, it's great. But as people that employ her and also you know work with her, us three guys were right when she walked in. We I think collectively like, "Oh, you got your tits out today," <laughs> which I don't know if this is a good thing to say. You know, we could it's have fine. a documentary. I okay. ran it through her HR. Shirts, HR, shirts, HR's good with it. HR's she's good with HR. it. Of course, no, apparently he's HR, which he would be the last person I would <laughs> yeah, ever choose you would be the HR. last person to be HR. You said I have a brain that's the size of a walnut. That's not something <laughs> HR would say. That's, oh. That sounds like a performance review. <laughs> it's, also ac- it's not accurate. We all think you have a big old brain. Big, yeah, big, big, big brain. great brain. HR, horn, <laughs> horn the regulator. What, what are you pointing at? Um, I love what her shirt says. It says cowboy pillows. Oh, I wouldn't know. I didn't look uh, there. <laughs> Yeah, I, I kind of observed out of my peripherals like what the shirt is kind of holding up, but I didn't read it because I don't want to stare at an employee's boobs. And that is on Hit Some Intro Music. Yo, Boston! If you're not coming to the show, you are an idiot. Link in the description. We already sold out New York, New Haven, but Boston, we just got a few more tickets there. Link in the description. We want to see you. We got some crazy stuff. Uh, if you're a Celtics fan, be there. If you live in Boston, be there. If you live outside of Boston, be there. Tickets below. Also, Patreon. Uh, this is going to be a major month for Patreon. Seven-day free trial right now, but we did a drunk episode with um, Skylar's girlfriend and... It's pretty crazy. And the drunkenness is, here. here's a little clip. Um, my parents are really hard on me with my weight growing up. So they were like some crazy things. Like they put me on Nutrisystems when I was like 12 <laughs> and like a thousand calorie <laughs> diet. And then there's two crazy ones. <laughs> my dad had me go to a cemetery and he, <laughs> he ha- I want to get back to your model, mom. No, that has no, to no. Have I want to so hear about hard. the cemetery. Well, they, he had me walk around all, and look at all the graves. I was like, sobbing, 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 like couldn't breathe. And then he made me start running and he's yelling out at me, run because they can't. <laughs> <laughs> He did tell me, he told me how to stop telling that story. Uh, we're also doing, you know, prizes. Um, you get you get 20 to 30 minutes or 15, I don't know, how, however long extra of this podcast after this, you can go check it out. So you get extra podcasts. Um, you get the episodes early. You also get a chance at some wonderful prizes, Xboxes, Switches, blah, 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 every month. And that's just for being a lovely, lovely patron person. So go get in there. April showers bring Patreon flowers. Link in the description. If you're not on there, I will hurt you physically. Thank you. Um, we got an exciting episode today. Why? Um, I made something for you. <laughs> you made something for me? If that's okay. I'm scared. Um, so you're tar yummy, right? I think. I looked at the last time I checked in the mirror. And then every every episode we play a game. Let's do it now. Where, Where did Tara, Tara wake, wake up this morning? morning? Then do you wanna My own bed. Go- oh Woo! and that's <laughs> great. Yeah. And yeah. that's a good or or Good or bad, depending on where you wanted to wake up personally. Right. Because we're here for you. Um, I'm a little disappointed this morning. Well, oh, well that's sad. Yeah. I, I created a bit of a theme song. <gasps> what? <laughs> I created a song for you based on um, your ability to lily pad off different beds. And Alyssa, do you mind, do you mind kind of playing that? I'm so that? fucking scared right now. Oh okay, my God. So, oh wait, 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 nobody look at that. Okay, okay so gosh. put your headphones so, on. I feel also. like I'm gonna throw up, Zach. I'm so scared. What Why? did you do? <laughs> I'm so scared. Did you like out me? What? Like, <laughs> no, like, like, I feel like, I'm no, I'm fucking scared right it's now. It's not even June, I would never out you. Okay. Damn it, I was gonna make a joke like that. Okay, my heart's go. pounding. Okay, ready? Okay, ready, Tara? I guess. Here we go. You like it? Good. I love it. Just some 
Are you kidding me? Wait, that was that really was, good. Honestly, I would was listen that you? to that. Yeah, you like it? No, that, that was not him. him. I, I made it though using AI. <laughs> using AI. That was amazing. Wait, even the drums and the beats? All of it. Yeah, yeah. I made it, it all in He AI. literally just that needs to be on TikTok. In, he just puts in a prompt and tells it like what he wants a song to be about and what he wants it to sound like, and it puts out that. Is, wow. is there is there no um way to turn up the volume in our ears? A different guy. You're always <laughs> catching eyes and turning heads. Aww. But where'd you wake up this morning? In whose bed? You're a mystery girl living on the edge. They even got the choir vocals in there. just like to play. But I can't help wondering where you'll end up next. Are you looking for love or just some late night sex? That's insane. It's a banger, huh? It's so good. We have to play that. Has, that has to be the intro for our live shows. Oh, dude. It's, yeah, it's insane. Uh, okay. Um, so do you have any thoughts, feelings before we? I have so many thoughts, so many feelings. One, I feel like I'm going to cry because I feel like someone wrote a song about me. <laughs> Which <laughs> even, I did. Even if it is not helping with the slot allegations. Um, <laughs> allegations. Allegations. Those allegations have to be false. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> not that slutty. No, I know, I know, I know. Trust we're, me, I we're know. We're just joshing. Yeah, you know, we're just we... throw, we're throwing Josh. Josh? <laughs> is he cute? <laughs> Did he sing the song? <laughs> is this him on the beat? <laughs> that was, I don't know. I was gonna say, I don't know if you know me that well. You do. Because that is actually how you make me happy. <laughs> like I... <laughs> Listen, I, and I'm just, I'm just trying to make you happy in all walks of life. Um, oh my God. That actually is the next hit. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, you, Holy you fuck. have to do a, like a TikTok to that. And I promise that is going viral. That means I got to put it on Spotify. I just become, I'm like at the Grammys like. <laughs> um. <laughs> I literally think Thanks. that's like a Grammy nominee. <laughs> well, well, I think it's no, just I'm about you. <laughs> hold it all, hold the horses. It's like, well, it's got a great subject matter. So I figured, <laughs> I mean, people will probably pretty resonate with it. I mean. It just feels relatable. Like, are you looking <laughs> oh, for love or some late night sex? Like. Yeah. <laughs> now I get that it. was so good. Thank you. Oh my favorite. God, I love it. Like I literally don't know what to say. I feel so special right now. Okay, this might diminish the specialness, but I did create a song for everyone here. Oh, oh. are you serious? But I started with you. And then I was like, it'd be funny if I also had songs for everybody else. Oh. I don't like this. I don't like where this is going. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, I don't like- Is it okay if I show them their songs too? She's like, no. She I, doesn't I, want I anyone wouldn't. else to feel special. Skyler, let's wait, start. No, wait, no, hold wait, on. No. I want to preface this with I heard, I've heard all the other songs. Uh huh. And last night I went up to him and I was like, I've, I've heard these songs. You're not going to make it. There's not one about me, right? <laughs> <laughs> you thought you were free and clear? And I, th I thought I was. And I got, there were promises made, promises not kept. <laughs> I think there's, well, I, from the title, I think there's definitely one about you. The Legend of Skylar Horn, that's what this one's called. <laughs> oh, Wait, before you. we listen to the other ones, I just want to say the reason I got so upset when you said there's one for everyone else is because when you called me today, you're like, I made something for you as if I was the only one you made something for. But I did make something for you. You laid it up to be so special. It yeah, special. you did. You made it seem, no, he made it seem like I was the only one. And maybe that's our problem. And that's what you do to guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> so. so, no. No. Because, no. Yes, ma'am. Thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring this episode. Spring is here and summer's coming. That means events are humming yumming. If you want to go for a discounted price, go to SeatGeek.com and get yourself right. Concert season is back. And, and sports season. NBA playoffs. And artists like Drake and Nicki Minaj and Hoser and Bad Bunny and are LeBron. on. And LeBron. 
are on tour. Jason Tatum. And you already know that SeatGeek is the best place to get tickets for all of these events. Do you want to watch something live? And do you want to save money doing it? And do you want a, a trusted app slash website to buy these tickets from? Essentially, it's easy. You want to go to something live and you save money using SeatGeek. Zach, what do you want to go see live? I would like to watch the Lakers versus the Warriors that's coming up. Oh, it's so funny you mentioned that. I have it pulled up right here. That was premeditated. You knew that. Well, yeah, we planned that beforehand. Oh, my bad. Go ahead. Well, I have the Warriors at Lakers game pulled up right here, and you can see all of these green dots, which means those are good deals on SeatGeek. Now, there are a few red dots. If you zoom in, those are bad deals on SeatGeek. SeatGeek has your back when buying tickets. They, they rank it, you know. You go on there, and you see a ticket that you want to buy, and they got a little scale, and you can know if it's a good seat or not. It's very, very simple. You want to go to a live event, use SeatGeek. Also, you want to save money, check this out. Our exciting new offer from SeatGeek is that you can get 10% off your next order no matter how many times you've bought tickets on SeatGeek before. Use code DROPOUTS10 for 10% off tickets on SeatGeek. You can get link in the description or, you know, SeatGeek.com, blah, 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 blah. Use the app. You know it. And make sure to do it now because this is only a limited time offer. That is use code DROPOUTS10 for 10% off tickets on SeatGeek up to $25. Go get your money back when you go see your live events. Thank you, SeatGeek. Love you so much. Um, Skylar, the legend of Skylar. The uh, legend of Skylar. Skylar Horn, he's a country <laughs> man. Owns the hills of a far off land. But there's a problem that he can't disguise. He finishes his loving in the blink of an eye. <laughs> Five seconds, that's all it takes. Skylar's loving a little too quick for heaven's sake. He's red faced, hanging his head in shame. But he's got a good heart, it's just the end that's lame. Oh my god. Scott of Horn, bless his heart. He's the fastest lover this world can impart. But don't you worry, one day he'll find a girl who loves him for his heart, not the time. That's it, that's it. Dude. That, that was beautiful. I that love is that. so Amazing. good. Do you know what that reminded me of? Like the Gilmore Girls, not Gilmore Girls, the sisters, the old ladies who live together. Oh, the traveling pants. No, <laughs> no. the old ladies who live together. The, the Golden Girls? The Golden Girls theme song. Oh, honestly, I haven't heard that, but I'm going to take your um, word, word for oh. it. Um, I okay. like that everyone of like I don't know if this is for everyone, but I like that it felt like us. Yeah, oh, it's yeah, like, like so far it's been like, tailored to yeah, the person. That was uh, crazy. Was, that wasn't that bad. That was good. That was amazing. No, it was good. I liked it. That All was right. honestly so funny. Very funny. <laughs> Bless so his Bless heart. Is hard. <laughs> He's Very the fastest funny. lover. This <laughs> and I knew. I fucking knew. I was laying there last night and I was like, I've got to make a song about this motherfucker. <laughs> but <laughs> you don't listen. have one. No, no, I have one for myself. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, of course sure. you wrote it. Oh, do you okay. want to hear the one about me? I could dunk a basketball. <laughs> no, it's Zach just, it's just Zach just. It's also country, so we'll, we'll stay with the country theme for a okay. second. Yeah, yeah. This is me. Zach I mean, Justice if you guys want to hear big mine. Time. Yeah, yeah. I got one for you too, Alyssa, but I got to airdrop it again, I guess. <laughs> well, then they say about a man named Zach Justice. Woo! <laughs> He's got a reputation that's larger than life. Woo, woo! Who do you think you are? <laughs> He's got a swagger in his step and a smile on his face and a little something extra. self-absorbed truth <laughs> what are you talking you, about okay fine pull your pants down oh you got a big I red like truck it. we'll blur it i like pull your it. pants down <laughs> i thought it was great um so i thought it was accurate oh yeah you do <laughs> wait no i don't get wait it's a it, half of it was about as the size of his wiener oh At i thought you meant your cyber truck <laughs> making reference um to. sure 
Also, not that's, what, red. that's also what I call it, my cyber truck. <laughs> This thing's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Well, hold on. Let me get my- I thought it was accurate. Like a nice thing. twinkle in his eye this. and like a smile okay. and a reputation. Okay. Like he has a reputation. Yeah. I don't that, know if it's that, good. That but is it, true. It is larger than him. Yeah. I did. Oh, is that what it meant? <laughs> like is, I thought it meant like he has like a bad reputation sometimes. You know no, what I mean? No, that was, I think that, that, that was fully, accurate. fully about his wiener. Yeah, I think oh, it was. Oh, never mind then. I thought it was dick in your window. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get that at Hard all. Hard to hear the lyrics. Right? A lot of muffled. We got to go in the lab, Jared. And I like, I'm going to actually, I'm going to wrap one. I'm going to give you a Wait, where's that? Yeah. Oh, okay. He died. Okay. Which one for Jared? We're going to do yours first. What is I don't like that we're saving mine for last. There was a lot of, there was a lot of Jared ones. A lot? What do, what do you, you mean? mean a lot? 10 to 12 of them. Are you serious? Okay. So a Bella, <laughs> can you look up what a Bella Donna is first? Is that Alyssa's? Yeah. Okay. A flower? Aw. It's supposed to be like an Italian is a poisonous plant oh. <laughs> native to Asia. Right beautiful there. And, lady. Oh, Italian beautiful lady. Okay, so that's oh. what it means. Italian beautiful lady. Oh, okay. that's okay. so sweet. Okay, but you but, put faux in yeah. front of it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, ready? Come on, man. I didn't get that. This is Bella Donna. Italiana, but it ain't the real thing. Mama Mia, she walks around with a smile so bright. But deep inside, she's fighting every night. Insecure, she's looking for attention. <laughs> Telling tales of her Italian convention. <laughs> when she sets her eyes on Jared Bailey. <laughs> no! She won't stop trying to make you stay. You're a full Belladonna. <laughs> Don't need to fake it to be strong. To be strong. Find your worth in who you truly are. Truly are. And not in trying to sleep with Jerry, baby. <laughs> Like that my name is like an ad right, in there. The, here's, here's the thing about that one. It was such harsh lyrics <laughs> masked behind like a Backstreet Boys beat. It was beautiful, wasn't it? Well, because, so, Alyssa, you owe a lot of money. <laughs> um, credit cards. You have, you know, student loan debt. You also have car payments. Car payments. And instead, you decide to spend $1,000 um, on trying to get your Italian citizenship that you wouldn't get for two years, even though you've never been in Italy, you don't speak Italian. <laughs> Is that uh, true? Yeah. So that was it's in the process. So that's the inspiration be that. behind like a faux belladonna. Got it. Like she's a fake Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I just but you, you, get, you get how it sounds like fake beautiful girl. Yeah. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> That's what I got to. I, I, I just well, thought Italian, I thought it just meant like Italian girl. I didn't mean fake beautiful. Because Bella Donna, Bella means beautiful, beautiful. in Italian. Yeah. You could have just said fake Italian. Could have been the name of the song. You know, I know, but it was kind of beautiful. Come on. Yeah. Uh, it was good, except the part where me and Jared would be sleeping together. Yeah, I, I didn't that like was the that part. That was in there? That was the part that hurt you? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I was All like, you, <laughs> that's the part. That, I might have to listen to it again. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah. I would. I definitely wouldn't listen to it alone at night because it would. It would get me. Dark thoughts. Right? Yeah, you should probably delete that off of your computer. I will I say so. they having, like, yeah, they called you insecure and like faux belladonna, but at least they didn't call you a slut. <laughs> I'm gonna call you that. To the, to Who the called me song. that? Yeah, the yeah. song did. The no, that was AI. That was AI. That was old Al. <laughs> I want to. Uh, um, okay, so now that was really good, though. there's a couple of Jared. Let's do <laughs> a couple of mine. Do, okay, yeah, let's do the, the true me. I mean, they all sound uh, this really one's good. good. This one is good. The true me is pretty good. Jared Bailey <laughs> with his big beaver teeth <laughs> in a world that never understood he hid beneath. Wow. This sounds like a song I would make. Yeah. But now he's <laughs> stepping out. Unafraid to be seen. He knows the lyrics. <laughs> Finding solace in the truth that sets him free. Aww. This is beautiful, Thank honestly. You. He's faced the battles in internal war. For so long he denied what he was yearning for. Come on, man. Where I know where this is going. But now he's found his place. Embracing his desire. Oh, <laughs> a kaleidoscope of love that sets his heart on fire. Skylar Smirk. <laughs> it's okay to be yourself, Jerry, baby. Don't you see? 
Okay, and just in Wait, case. Does that mean? Huh? It was a reference to Jared being uh, gay. Yeah, you just, are you? Which, no, which oh. I'm not. <laughs> then why did I make this song? I are you Listen. against being gay, Chris I, Olsen? <laughs> okay, just in case that like didn't get it across enough. I feel like you're crying. I, I'm crying from laughing. Can you throw on uh, Kissing Boys. Oh my! Listen up! It's time to make some noise. This rapper's for a boy named Jared Bain. He's got big beaver teeth, catching all the girls' gaze, but he ain't like the others. He's loving boys. Don't be afraid, let your true self shine through In a world full of haters, I got your back, it's true You can't stop kissing boys, that's the way you were made Embrace who you are, don't let society invade Jerry, baby, proud and be free Love who you love is your destiny Kissing boys ain't nothing to hide On your truth, let your heart fly Yeah, that was that's really the, good. That's I the like most that moving rap song since Macklemore did the one. Thank you. Since Same Love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. it, that sounded. You know what that sounded like? It sounded like you did. Uh, like uh, you got Young Jeezy to. Do, yeah, that's what I do, boy. <laughs> <laughs> to do what's the what's the thing where you like can get celebrities to say hi or whatever? Cameo. cameo. Yeah, it sounded like you got Young Jeezy to do a cameo. I mean, we're probably way past listening to any more songs. The the audience is probably like we're pretty sick of this. Um, there was one more. Okay, I have to show you all something, <gasps> but I need you all to close your eyes. Okay. okay. I think you'll all be very excited. It's a jump scare. It's just like- <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's eyes closed? Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Zach, pulled. close your eyes. Okay. Zach. Is she pulling her tits out, Zach? <laughs> okay. I don't wait, want wait, wait, them out. Wait. I'm just asking. Everybody open. <gasps> hey! hey! We just officially hit a million on YouTube. While recording? Yeah. While recording. While recording. Wow. wow. Good job to you guys. Good job to you. Good job to oh. you as well. Oh. I guess me then. <laughs> oh, I thought it was you Wait. guys. It was on me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hit the cheer button. There we go. Woo! That means this is our one millionth uh, ep or surprise. Fucking. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. That's why we got hey, to a million. I can see why they tuned in. <laughs> Every I can week. see why they loaded it Special. up on their old laptop. That's what I was trying to say. Um, well, cool. We got to a million. Uh, is that, oh, so we're better than who? Is it everyone else? Yeah. Oops. And then, but what about people that have more than us? Who are we? They're Let's go. way better than They're you. way better than us? Out of our league completely. Okay. Is why, there, am, why am I here then? Oh my God. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, to do that? Well, according to the song. According to the song. Congratulations, you guys. And you. And you. I joined pretty late. Yeah, but think about this. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's been fun. <laughs> right. Um, anyway, let's get into the normal uh, segments of the podcast. Wait, I what? feel like we should celebrate for like one more second. How, we, how are we supposed to celebrate? Woohoo. <laughs> Woohoo. Good, like, good, good. Good, good, good. That was amazing. That, we, Alyssa, that was a really sweet surprise. That sweet was a us, very sweet surprise. Sweet of you to like have us close our eyes and stuff. I, <laughs> my eyes were wide open. <laughs> I saw and then I said close them. Um, do we do anything for this? Should we throw a party? Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I mean, we'll blur it. I think we have, uh, <laughs> I think we have like confetti poppers in that closet. No, brother. Right? No, we're not <laughs> That's not that. worth that. It's crazy. The All cleanup. Right. If you do want to pop confetti, it, now would be the time to do it because if Hanson was here. Oh my God, that would be a nightmare. I Ooh. know. I did create a song for Handsome Wisdom Biggie. Um, do you want to listen to the listen song? To it. It's just like my little boy. You, dog. Were, you were playing it the other night at 1 a.m. Is that <laughs> what you were? Dancing around the house. <laughs> I have an English bulldog named Handsome for our audio listeners, and this is a little tune on me for him. Well, I got a buddy. His name is Handsome. He's an English bulldog. Dog. A real charmer. Aww. Like With that. his droopy face <laughs> and his stubby tail, stubby tail. <laughs> He's got that attitude that never fails. Yeah. My best friend asshole, that's what they call him. But you shoes and steal your dinner. But when the world gets tough, he's always there. My best friend asshole, we just don't care. He'll haul the couch and fart on my bed. <laughs> when I scold him, he just cocks his head. Such 
<laughs> With those big sad eyes, he melts my heart. Melts my heart. He's my buddy through and through from the very start. Oh yeah. That was really beautiful. <laughs> it was. That, it's on. That made so you cheer up. <laughs> Because <laughs> I was thinking of my relationship with my dog, and it was just really sweet. Oh, so you brought Oh, back you to should yourself. make one for sugar for her. I, I, I might to. not make it through because <laughs> that got me really emotional. Where did you make it on? Uh, well, let me see. I use instruments and I, in my own voice. I did kind of acapella. I just uh, kind of sang it through the That's speakers really um, or the microphone on the computer, so it might sound a little off. But you know, I try to try to stay in tune. I don't know how audio uh, auto tune works either, so that was kind of just straight vocals on all of them. But um, raw vocals. Yeah, just raw vocals. Wow. You, raw. Hey, can, can you uh, can you sing? If, I know yeah, you, which song? Just uh, just that one. last just a new one. Oh, a new yeah, one. Yeah, off the top. Uh, any any subject? What do we want to sing about? Sing about the weather. Cause outside, <laughs> it's a big old weather. It's a big old weather. It's a big old weather. I got a girl right here who doesn't wear leather. Mm. Cause she loves animals. Okay. Doesn't want them to die. But boy, oh boy, she cries like a big dark sky, big, big dark sky, because these boys hurt her. It's honestly not bad. They hurt her heart. Heart? <laughs> she puts it out there, and they just tear it apart. Tear it apart. Tara, yummy. Yeah, she's so Notice young. how you said something about the weather, and it just all came back to me. <laughs> yeah. I'll do anything on your back. Okay. Um, uh, oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, you you did say you had a lot to talk about today. Did you want to bring it up now or forever hold your peace? Before this podcast started, you guys. You were like, you're I like, got to get on the mic. You're like, yeah, I got to You get were up. fired up. I don't even remember, to be honest. Oh, my God. I, I think it was just like I was ready. You know what I mean? I, oh, I do have one thing to say. We should bring back lollipops. And I, <laughs> wait. Hot take, okay. It's not that hot. It's like when we were kids, when we left a doctor's office, there would be a lollipop. The other day, I was getting a pedicure. Which, by the way, I fell asleep getting a pedicure. It was the most humiliating moment of my life. My phone died. This is off topic. My phone died. And she's like, okay, sweetie, you're all done. And I'm like, <laughs> and I woke up. And I've, I don't nap. I don't, like, fall asleep randomly. But like, anytime someone touches your feet or your legs, you do fall asleep. Wait, that's so true because I talk about this all the time is when I get massages, the second they get to the second foot, I'm dead asleep. And really? I don't get to enjoy the massage. But, like, what's also weird is, like, I've never fallen asleep during a pedicure. I think my phone was dead. And I was just like, how embarrassing is that? Anyways, I left. I hate when that happens to me. I left the pedicure and they had little lollipops. So I'm like, why don't they do this anymore? After like stores and grocery stores, they just have like little free lollipops for everyone. And like, you should be able to just like, how, how much do you think vaping would get put to the side if we just had lollipops all the time? Yeah, nicotine, nicotine infused lollipops. lollipops? <laughs> no, no, just like something to suck on. Whoa. Pause. Uh, <laughs> uh, a little they, Nick they, pop. They still sell like blow pops and stuff at the store. I went to a bar one time a with a bunch of guys, and they there behind the bar there was uh there was there were um, lollipops, and huge fan. So I was like, can I can I get one? And the guy was like, you want one? And I was like, yeah. Is that a problem? Was, you said you tried to say a, like really cool. Like, he was like, uh, yeah, you can have one. I guess he gives it to me. I'm walking around the bar. My buddies who they've been in this bar before, they don't say anything to me. Everyone's like looking at me, sort of weird. We get home. Turns out. Girls ask for lollipops there when they're willing to give blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> no way. That is hilarious. So he kind of, well, he gave it to you, though. I don't know what that means. He just probably thought that I wanted to give a blowjob. I was wondering why. I was pretty he... adamant on getting the lollipop. Wait, but, but, like, that's not fair. Like, who would know that? Like, is it like a, like a. It's kind of like the like secret. Fight club? The secret menu at, like, in and out or something, you know? It's like. It's... Yeah, but you need to know to know. And it's like. Is there a secret menu at strip clubs? Yeah. Like, I'll get this thing animal style. Or For like enough both, money, yeah. Okay, yeah. good. They bust open that roast beef. What, do you think, you think you'd be good at um, fellatio, right? Like, I feel like. Mm, no. Really? You bad. think you'd be bad at blowjobs? Uh, horrible. Why? Why? I have a, the worst gag reflex. Oh. oh. But do you, you think Can't you know relate. the technique? <laughs> I'm just no. kidding. Oh. I don't think I can figure it out. Well, you probably but you, could. But you have one. Yeah, and how many times? You, number one, do you see how flexible I'm not? <laughs> Wait, what does flexibility have to do with blowjobs? Well, he, because he's I have speaking, to be able to bend over. To, oh. like, no, I think she's referring to you enjoy them frequently. Yeah, so it's like, don't you know what you like? I'm I not feel the like biggest fan of them. Oh, you don't really? Like hot take. Now All this right. is a hot take. Hold, hold, wait, hold was, on. Maybe you're just not. They're on my. Oh, he's not getting good enough blowjobs. No, is that like, what you're gonna say? No, like maybe you just haven't. I don't know. It's not my favorite. Okay. It's not my favorite. Can you, can you explain why? It's just never been my favorite thing. No, I know, but I, I didn't know if there's more detail you could go into. No, it's really just like it's just I'm just like oh, okay, yeah. Do you th do you feel like you're kind of faking the emotion so it looks like you're having a good time so they don't feel insecure? 
Uh, that sounded like it came from experience. It's happened to me, brother. <laughs> because I mean, there's some comedian who talks about, like, we move and make noises for you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen, Andrew Schultz? Uh, so, I've seen that. But he, he's essentially talking about, it's true. It's like when you're masturbating alone, yeah, it's we, just yeah, dead silent. We just masturbate, like, you know, assassins. <laughs> like, like a I stone mean, cold killer. Girls. You guys just sit there like... Mm. Like we could, it could, it could, be easily, it could be easily shut off, silent, yeah, and be fine. Don't say we know, we know you're over there, silent up there. What does that mean? Wait, you live with them? That's crazy. I feel like I feel like if I lived with a bunch of guys, I'd be like I'd blast music just to like silence out, like the. <laughs> <and> the <laughs> what is that <laughs> like one? Hold on, wait, what the hell? It's just there's you know have the you ever seen those flower ones? I don't have online? the flower, but no. it's like similar. Oh. Yeah, the rose toys, like the sucky ones, like. <laughs> I don't, I don't like it the goes, sound. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a rubber duck in a bathtub. <laughs> it it like sounds like one. innocence. Why does it sound so much like innocence with something so nefarious? Um, she did show us her items. You? Yeah. Uh, we, we caught them when they coerced. came in. No, we're not. No. We already no. talked about it. Yeah, but we. It's it's an inconspicuous. <laughs> it's inconspicuous. You say, the, you say the word right, we'll keep it inconspicuous. Inconspicuous. If you can say the inconspicuous neighborhood, <laughs> we'll be happy. Oh, I'm not doing this again. Every time that commercial comes on. What commercial? Um, the State Farm one. What do they say? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh my! Wait. Whoa! <laughs> hey, back half just got you canceled. Oh my! Arnold God. who? Wait, short. I don't want to say it again. <laughs> so he's got shorts, and then you said he's a what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you gotta be cool. cut that. No, no, that's totally fine. <laughs> if, he, if she said the N-word, we would definitely cut it, which I she know, does but... say, and we don't keep it in, which we're thinking about firing you for if you don't change your ways. Um, HR's talked about it. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. You go to the gym for your muscles. You go to the doctor for the health of your body. Yet a lot of people don't take that consideration when dealing with their brain and their mental health. The number one thing that you can do and that I have done is gone to therapy. And the easiest way to get into therapy to make sure your mind is right, to make sure that you're not getting a little wonky, to make sure that your friends still want to associate with you because you don't go off the rocker is using BetterHelp. BetterHelp is what, Jared? BetterHelp is the easiest way to get into therapy. It's all online and it's designed to be convenient and flexible to your schedule. There's no more going into offices. You can do it all from the comfort of your own bed. And to get started, all you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Learn how to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash dropout today and get 10% off your first month um, there's nothing more transformative i think for your brain than therapy to get you moving in the right direction or to keep you in the right direction remember that's better h-e-l-p betterhelp.com slash dropouts thank you i love you get 10 percent off your first month thank you better help this episode is also brought to you by squarespace now imagine you're on the racetrack and everybody's passing by you. You're like, what's going on? I got the same car and engine. Don't ask anybody else. Now, this is similar if you're online and you're professional and you don't got a website. Say you're a photographer. You want to scale your business and your photography portfolio. And remember the analogy of the NASCAR thing. They're going past you, all the other photographers. You're like, why are they doing that? It's probably because they have a website where you can easily see their portfolio of pictures without it getting damaged by the quality like Instagram and these social medias do's and does. And I mean, yeah, I mean, Put yourself in the shoes of a photographer, but in any other business as well. We use Squarespace to, what do we use it, what do we use it for, Jared? We use it for our merch website. Keep going. Squarespace is and has been the easiest way to make a website. And now they have introduced Squarespace Blueprint AI and SEO tools. You can start a completely personalized website with a new guided system, Squarespace Blueprint. Choose from professionally curated layouts and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up tailored to your brand or business. When you are ready to make the website of your dreams, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to Squarespace dot com slash dropouts to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. A domain is essentially like website name. So if you don't know that. Again, that is squarespace.com slash dropouts for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace. <laughs> <laughs> what did I lose my HR job to him? You have, number one, you don't have I the qualifications. Like that's not true. I feel HR. like Alyssa would be way better at HR than you. Okay, well, Thank let's you. get the qualifications. You studied in school? That is your only qualification. <laughs> you have an education. <laughs> the only thing that you have is the, the, the documentation to do it. I'm technically a doc. I have a doctorate degree. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. 
You want to play doctor? <laughs> he's not gonna play operation on you. He's a he went to he's a went to law school. I always say if I like didn't do this, I would love to just go to law school. No, Why is that? <laughs> yeah, I would. I I don't know. I like lot. I like stuff like that. I'd love to be like an entertainment lawyer one you day. Maybe laws. I'll just I'll just take the bar for fun. What's your favorite? You gotta go to law school to take the bar. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, you do. No, you don't. <laughs> okay. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. You are wrong. <laughs> Maybe you? I'm dead wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the guy that's been I found four this out years. the other day. I said I said the same thing as you. And they were like, actually, you could just take the bar if you study. Can no, you look you that can. up, Alyssa? Yeah. You uh, have to, because to get the bar, you have to provide accreditation that you went to law school. I think there's like a shorter version you can do. Because I'm pretty sure that's what Kim did. Yeah, Kim, Kim who? Kardashian. I thought she actually went to law school. That's what I thought, but I, I guess I was did, wrong. But I thought she you did. Well, better. she didn't go to school school. It was yeah. Just she like, probably got like her LLM. Professors came to her house and stuff. Oh, well, in California, qualified applicants can take the bar exam without going to oh, law school. Oh, that's fucking poppycock. <laughs> Look up Georgia. <laughs> you just got outlawed. By me! By the lawless. You know what? Maybe I, maybe I would be a great lawyer. Don't I do this. If you, maybe I would be. That's how, no, that's how she wins every case. Judge, he's innocent. <laughs> <laughs> wait, think, wait, do me a favor. I, I, I love that. I <laughs> do me a oh, favor. We're going to play that song again, man. <laughs> Well, I'll look up. Look Sometimes I'm gonna sucker punch you, Skylar. In the Peach State, you must no, have no, no, a law yeah, degree. No, no, no. I just want to know what like the qualifications. Go back. Go back. I want to sucker back. punch you right now. Like I was right. You were, you were right. Yeah, but <laughs> it's not everywhere. And Most this isn't me. This isn't me undermining Kim Kardashian. Like I thought she went to law school too. Yeah, yeah. But I guess she didn't, which is awesome. This is you mining her. I would love to. Technically, just... you're a gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing but. A... There's so many layers to what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, oh, that was is, really cool. What's that? That what? was like a Trace Leches cake or whatever. What has the bunch of layers? <laughs> a double entendre. Trace Leches. <laughs> Trace Leches. Trace Leches has oh, three. the dessert. Tiramisu. <laughs> Something. I don't it's know. Yeah. Dude, there's a million. <laughs> There's a million people that, li that subscribe to this. <laughs> I did black out for it. I didn't even know what we were talking. I was trying to read. I think we we're talking about fruit. This is the best podcast episode ever. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite law? I've been meaning to ask. Uh, what do you mean? Well, you want to be a lawyer, so I, I don't. Okay, I never said I want to be a lawyer. I said one day, if I'm like you know bored in this life, I would love to study for the bar exam and take the California bar and be able to like practice law. If you could add any bar bar law into existence, what would you add? Oh, that's a great question. Um. Oh, oh! If they leave DNA in you, they have to also treat you to three dinners. That's a good one. Just because I don't like, really care for that. Oh, you're just the DNA. Um. I was trying to help you. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, I. you know what I don't like? And speaking of that, it's like I hate when, like, if you're talking about a woman, people are like, oh, yeah, uh, a bunch of guys, like, fuck her. Like, yeah, da, da, da. It's like, why can't we fuck them? Like, I don't understand. And you do. It's like, no, what I'm, no, what I'm saying is I don't like that, and this is like a big, more bigger societal issue, but, like, not that I can solve all of this. Yes, you can. But I'm saying I don't like that girls, if they're, like, you know, like to – hang out and sleep around. They're known as sluts. But like when a guy does it, it's cool. And you're like, the shit, the fuck? What's up with that? I don't I, like it. Jared, take, take point on this. Well, no, I was going to say, I feel like the tides are turning just a little bit where now- And God bless. Where now men that sleep around get like a bad rap with women. And I don't think either of them should get a bad rap. It's what you want to do with your body. But I'm like, I'm wholeheartedly saying like, it's just like, I don't like that people are just like, oh- I don't know. Maybe these Bob comments are getting to me. Do I sign my teeth? Uh, just a little bit of lipstick. Lipstick? Yeah, yeah. You fixed Why didn't it. you tell me before? I hope it happened moments ago. The, the moments, moments ago. Moments, <laughs> moments ago. The You're second such I a real one. Thank you. Um, God, if I went this whole podcast with lipstick on my teeth, what would that say? What would that do for me? It wouldn't have. To be fair, you probably can't see it. Zach, what time's prep school onboarding today? <laughs> Am I going to get hate for that? For having lipstick on? No, I that can't whole feel like just I don't think so. No, Wait. I think it's pretty fine to say that women can have sex with men <laughs> and not be called sluts. I think that. I think you're yeah, good I on think that. You're, yeah, but that's, you're good no, that's, a, that's a good position. You, I'm also in that position. But do you think that, like, it's because it's coming from me? No, I think the only people that are going to hate on that are, like, the alpha males and chads of the world. You know, they're like, always been a proponent so funny. of... Those are the ones fun. in my DMs. It's always the gym bros chads, like, in my DMs. I'm like... I am caught. This is me doing it right now. It's always gym bros. It's always chads. It's always like frat bros. And I'm like, I don't get it. We don't have anything in common. Opposites <laughs> attract though. No. I learned that the hard way. With who? You haven't seen you date an accountant. Like when, <laughs> when did you, when did you want me to say it and you'll just bleep it? Sure. 
Oh, I forgot about uh, yeah. that. Make sure you blur his he mouth. He does actually though. have an accountant vibe to it. He does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Not accountant, but like finance. Finance bros. God, finance bros kill me. Why? They're just like, you know. Calculating all the time. Oh, how am I going to make her finish? Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> and then they don't. Exactly. It's okay if I use the restroom. I'm you sorry. You do anything here. Well, let's actually, can you take a bathroom break too? The fellas got to have a. We got to have a quick talk. Do you guys mind going together? Minds. No. Hey, fucking do I'm- it in the bathroom, Johnny. <laughs> Go over there. <laughs> She's unbuttoning her pants off camera. She uh, her ass you're fucking, out. Yeah. What was out? Her ass. She like pulled her pants halfway down before she got in the door. I did not. Go pee. You're making things up to make you look hard. I can hear Robbie laughing. Yeah, she flashed Robbie on the way by. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rob. Sorry, big arm. <laughs> um, while she's gone, I think we can talk about something. We acquired a new arch nemesis. We did. The dryer. The dryer. Oh my god! I think dude. you might be a fucking double agent, dude. I think. How am working. I the I double think you've agent? Been with a, a, what is it, Ashley? A, Madison? AJ Madison. Oh yeah. Also, he was he was like, man, Ashley Madison's hard. No, to get I said <laughs> I said AJ Madison allegedly, and then you were like, isn't that the sex website? And I said, no, this is AJ Madison. I'm not so sure. I'm against AJ Madison right now until I hear your pitch. What's been going on? Okay, so it oh. started with Zach bought a new washer dryer set for the garage. Me, I assume. Without doing any research. Without doing any research. So that's a negative on you. Hold I'm, up. Okay, no, Wait this up. all starts with you. This starts with your fuck up because you are so <laughs> impulsive. And if you would have just talked just- to us, any of us, to be like, hey, which dryer should I get? Should I get electric or gas? We could have told you we don't have the outlet for an electric you dryer. Know? Yes, I would have known. How would you have known? Can I also be honest? So this is a point I think I can bring up my side of the story, if that's okay. Uh, when- well, we're going to let Jared finish this side of the story real fast. Okay. I Wait, mean, no, this no, would no, be a perfect time to interject. No, no, no. <laughs> he can, he can um, interject. <laughs> when buying the washer and dryer, okay, so to back up a second, uh, we changed the garage into an Irish pub, and the washer and dryer in there um, were side by side. And it was taking up a lot of room. So I was like, let's try to get a stackable pair. I look on I look online, I find I find a nice black accent washer and dryer that's really gonna fit the tone of the room. Mm-hmm. And in my brain, you know, I'm I I'm reading reviews, what's a good washer and dryer, a good aesthetic, a good price. That's kind of where my head's at. Now, did I think or know that washer and dryers or that dryers could be anything but one? form of energy to dry clothes. I didn't. And when I say that that when that when that dryer got here and it turns out we needed a gas dryer and instead we got an uh, electric one that doesn't fit the outlet, I first of all embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Taken back with with just you, you you couldn't believe how stupid you had been. You couldn't believe like god how did I fuck this up so bad? I'm, I mean all I really had to do was go down there and look. How did I fuck this up? No, no, no. What, just, may, just think about maybe I just didn't know that those were even options, so I just clicked dryer. I just went, oh, a dryer. Oh, this is a dryer. I'll take this dryer, and it'll be th- – I'll click – this is the dryer I want. Okay, you know? but here's the thing. You did that without telling any of us. And what are you talking about? We could have told you. Zach, you brought up that you wanted a new washer and dryer – once and then you said they're coming on Tuesday, but you didn't. When I texted the group chat and I said the washing dryer coming on Tuesday, you did not say it d- is it definitely a, 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 a gas it, well, dryer. But uh, because but. I didn't think you would buy an electric dryer, <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't sound like if I brought it up anyway, you would have told me anything. Well, if you would have said, "Hey, I'm thinking about uh, finding a dryer. Can we like figure out what we need for in there?" No, 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 no. You, I've already stated that I did not know that there were two different types. No, of no, I know, no, but, but if you would have you you brought it up. And and said, hey, guys. I did bring it up in the group chat, and no one was After like. After you had balled it. Wait, make sure what dryer he got. <laughs> no, <laughs> Zach, if you, before you pressed purchase, I could have looked at it and been like, this is an electric dryer. We can't get this. We boogie, need boogie, a gas boogie. dryer. Did you know that for a fact? Yes, because okay. uh, the electric dryer needs a 240 volt outlet. Okay, go Here on he with goes your, with the tech. <laughs> go, go on with your problem cable. with AJ okay, Madison. Okay, before, before we continue. You ever going to go to the bank? I did go to the bank. We have an appointment on Tuesday. How long did it take you? Three years? Uh, it took me a while. Have we yeah. talked about this before? Hold no, about this see, story? you're deflecting. You're I'm not def- deflecting. You are deflecting. You this had is a, the definition of deflecting. You had a bad three days. You, you had a somber three days because of a really minute problem. No, I had, I had a somber dinner, 
And then you guys just kept wanting to bring it up. And I was like, it's not a big deal. Okay. I don't so, want to. So well, well, hold on now. <laughs> I've, been on so left out. I've been on your side of majority. I've been on your side of majority. What the fuck is going on? Skylar, I don't Skylar, come fill- on the podcast for like a week and suddenly everyone's fighting. Uh, we're not Skylar, fighting. give her the fill in of what happened. All right. Zach fucked up or the wrong Hold guy. on. Zach is no. perfectly deflecting from his fuck up. I just said it. it. He said He's dryer. Said- but that's hey. not what we're talking about right now. We're talking about. He being sad for no I'm reason. Right. I feel like Dylan. this was going on last night in the candy. All right. <laughs> Hold and you on. were wrong last night, too. Pause. No one speak except for Skylar, and I'll okay. never say that, so. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. But can no, you- I just said no one speak. Zach. But no ex- one speak. Explain why all. he was sad first, because that way the we're audience needs to know. all the bases. Go ahead. All right, so we were at dinner a few weeks ago. And thank you for going ahead. And uh, we were all sitting there having a grand time. Jared was having a good time. Jared looks at his phone. Well, oh, Zach, Zach, Zach okay, makes it, I Zach, knew this. Zach, okay, yeah, Zach makes a comment. Is this at Smokehouse? No, this is at Wood Ranch. I knew this. He looked at his phone and then put it down and he went. <sighs> yeah, and well, we didn't know that. if he looked at uh, something bad on his phone. Previously, Zach had made a, a Zach had like berated him about getting a new bank because. A quip. Yeah, it was a berate. Um, Zach had like yelled at him or like argued with him about getting a bank. I asked Jared specifically, I was like, was it Zach being a jackass about the bank thing? And Jared was like, no, it's not that. <laughs> and then Jared like kind of moped for about. Two days. I did not mope. For and I days. think what happened was about halfway through, he realized that we weren't going to give up why he was moping. And then he realized, oh, shit, I'm going to have to tell them that it was because of this comment, a single bank comment. And so he just kind of didn't ever say anything about it. I, I, also, with that dinner, I was, that on the, that was? I was on the other end of the table with your mom <laughs> having a fucking existential crisis because she loves bringing up one of my ex-girlfriends. And he just, she just doesn't understand why you got rid of the, the love of your life. <laughs> And two, can I bring this back? I didn't just randomly berate him about this bank. I'd asked him. No, no, but you were. But you listen, did it in such a jackass some people way ha- at dinner. Some people have a boiling point. I'd asked him to fix this bank issue maybe thirty times, and then at dinner, you know, at some point, a, a bank got brought up, and I'm like, I start seeing red a little bit. I'm like, Jared, when are we gonna do this bank thing? And then he just, I mean, he completely shuts down. Like, I killed his family dog. And you know what, Jared? I want to say I agree with you because my dad sometimes out of nowhere will say something that I've been putting off. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, obviously so. I put it off for a reason. Like, don't bring it up again. Like, what? I understand. And it's like- But a, there's not a reason with the- Well, yeah, what's thing? the reason that he would put it off? It just helps the business. I honestly just keep forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> like, I get it. Like, sometimes you just don't want to do something or you don't feel like it. Like, And then the one time I do go to the bank- both of us need to be there, and then I was I was so mad. But we could have known we could have known that three. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so now moving on to the dryer fiasco. Some things you've been stuck in, I assume. But can we move on? <laughs> okay. Anyway, so Zach orders the wrong wrong dryer, right? He tasks me with the job to return it and get the gas dryer. So I'm on the phone with AJ Madison, and I'm like, hey, we got to return not an individual, uh, Not an individual. I knew this was going to be. This, oh, yeah. This is a company. Oh. Yeah, I think yeah. named after an individual in the past. <laughs> So I'm on the phone with them. First of all, their return policy is wild. They're like, it needs to be in the original packaging and there's a 35% restocking fee, which is insane. And when they deliver it, when they delivered it, well, we can't because we don't, it doesn't Not plug, usable. it doesn't fit. And for us to wire it to work properly is like another three grand. Mm-hmm. Which- the, the, the big fiasco is an electric dryer came, which I thought would be fine because I thought it just plugs into the wall. It turns out you have to completely change that outlet because the um, plug-in for the dryer is bigger than the normal outlet. And that's, what I think you have every right to not know that. I wouldn't know that. Thank you. Okay, but the thing that's was, not he something if, if he had just brought it up because I, but I didn't know to bring okay. it up. So this is a deeper rooted issue where Zach just does things without telling anyone. Yes, yeah, he's yeah, impulsive. Yeah. I know. Okay. Anyway, so. And once very. he sets his mind to something, he has to do it. And dude, uh, Robbie is going to have to get on your ass about the purchasing power that you have. When it comes <laughs> to We're talking about the $4,500 TV you bought for the office. What? And then I the other one you bought last night that was what? And the, but I can take the other one back. You're not going to. It's already You installed. said you wanted it in a different part listen, of the room. Listen, listen, listen. No, the, the one that I have, the new one, can be taken back to Best Buy. Be like, hey, we just bought this here. And then I can buy another one, so it's two for the price of one. I don't why know. Would we, why wouldn't we have done that in the beginning? Because I didn't know about because the second. Because you didn't look. You just impulsively bought. <laughs> I was at a Best Buy, and you know who was with me? Checking off all of these boxes? <laughs> Robbie. <laughs> well, he didn't check off these boxes. If you guys don't know, uh, we're forming Dropouts Media, and Robbie is a COO, and he approved the purchases. He's, <laughs> He's like, not de- Robbie said, this is sick. Okay, so <laughs> when I go to the mall, and I want to use Dropouts. Feel no. free. And say, I want to wear this on the podcast. I hope Robbie approves of it. Technically, <laughs> that's a write-off. Totally fine. We're that's about to that's go our shopping. costume department. Don't say department. no. 
Come shopping. Okay, well, if I can also shop. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't mind, if I'm actually a part of the shopping spree. Wait, no, but anyway, I'd actually wait. rather something else be Alyssa, paid off. If you just need, if you need to like costume shop for the show, you just need to buy like, just order like six, seven blankets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Tara, this would be that's fun. A, that's a, you know the comment I got the other day, so that's a mean thing to wait, bring Wait, what happened? Up. What comment did you get? I don't, it's fine. Wait, somebody says something about you? Who? I'll, I'll kill them. I told you. I'll kill them. Oh, the online I'll comment? I'll kill them. Yeah. The I'll rip on their Patreon. teeth out. I'll rip their teeth out and put it in a jar by my bed and count them when I go to bed. What they call you? They called you Whoa. thick or something? No, they said... <gasps> he doubled, Sorry. He go, 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 go. What? You're going to love this. Go, go, go. Oh, well, he just said... I don't know if it's he, but they said Alyssa's fat with some other things. Somebody else were complimented that and they're like... Or said something, and they're like, like "Yeah, true, but she's still fat." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So, hey, we're not um, laughing at you. We're laughing at the way that you like the I bluntness. I love the guy just doubled down. First of all, like, no, not true. It. No, no, we tell her this every day. Yeah, she comes in, she goes, "I'm a fat lard." And we're like, "You're not." <laughs> that's what I'm a fat lard. That's what she. Yeah, and then we go no. verbatim. That's then, what she, she says. Goes, and then she's no. Nah. And then we go, true. "It's okay." That's what, what that is. What, she does do that every day. We tell her no. We're very not fat talking to her. Um, you're very excited to tell her something. No, what were you going to say right there? You were going to say Tara, and then you were going to say something. Oh, do you want to play What Are the Odds? So a scale one, so we, so yeah, one yeah, through yeah. ten. I know. And then if, I know how it goes. if you lose, you have to pay off Alyssa's credit cards. How much is it? God <coughs> only. <coughs> no, I'm not playing this. <laughs> one out if of it ten. was less, I, I would, would never make you, I would never make anybody pay them off. You know what's the funniest thing is, <laughs> so we were, we've already talked about this before, but I don't think you're on here, is she got mad. So she's like, I maxed out my credit card and now I can't get another one. And, we, and <laughs> I then, love that. And then she's like, and then we're like, well, why did you spend so much? She's like, it's not my fault. They didn't tell me my limit went up. <laughs> and I'm like, but you spent the money. Like, they didn't tell me that I could spend that much. And she has a point. It yeah. should make you aware. But when you spend a thousand dollars and it doesn't cut off, and you spend five thousand dollars more, you're I like, get it. She's probably like, oh, I can swipe again. But That's no, they, what def I would they do. definitely they send notices. Well, through. to well to be fair, like when I. Spend more, like your, to your point. This might I be too much bank talk for Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Thank too you. much what talk? Bank. Bank. He's going to shut oh, down. Be like, careful. <laughs> oh, when a woman says it, it's all laughy laughy because they got milk. But when no, I say she it, said it as a joke, okay, you berate me. And sometimes rightfully so, okay? <laughs> I'll you. be honest, but I don't do well with negative reinforcement. Do you like getting berated? No, I hate it. I want to cry. Well, you're not getting the right kind of berated. <laughs> you're so you're not, you're not built for mental warfare? No, 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 not at all. Skylar is. Dude, I feel you like. would hate girls oh, I can, sleepovers. I can stay in the pocket. Girls sleepovers? Yeah, because you'd be braided all the time. Oh, middle or school. Braided. <laughs> oh, braided. <laughs> um, you're about to speak something to Alyssa. Okay, guys, I promised this individual I would bring this up on the podcast, and I'm going to. On Wednesday, I went to Barney's. Surprise, surprise. And this guy comes up to me, and he's like, "Can I please buy you a shot? Like, I love dropout." Oh no, no, that's not what he said. Sorry, I was kind of drunk. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, that's not what he said. He actually didn't talk to me. <laughs> He came up to me and like sat by the table and went like, hey girl, love your silhouette. And I was like, what? And oh, I was like, oh no. my God, you watched the podcast. Cause me and Alyssa once went to Barney's and this guy came up to Alyssa and said, I love your silhouette. And I was yeah. like, that's a great compliment to get. And at first I was like, what the fuck? Like, that's such a weird thing to say to me. And then I was like, oh my God, like you watch Dropouts? And he's like, yeah, like I love the show. Can I buy you a shot? And I was like, yes. So he filmed it. His name's Isaac. Thank you, Isaac, for that vodka shot. It was huge. Was it the same guy that talked to Alyssa? No, oh, no. Okay, okay. It was that a random been, guy a that watches the no, podcast. I, know. I, I thought maybe he's like heard it and then. No, 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 no. That'd be crazy. That'd be funny. No, it was another guy. And then he showed me that he came to the show. So he was like, he actually like watches the podcast. Oh, oh he yeah. came That's to the LA show. Oh, yeah. yeah. He told me he had just come back from a Dodgers game. That helps. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I was pretty drunk. I just, that's just what I remember. Well, he was watching people hit baseballs. That, yeah, Isaac, I got him. Okay, well, Alyssa, yeah. how do you feel about that? I thought no, it was hilarious. That's so funny. It was so funny, and I was like, I have to tell. I was like, I have to tell us this. I have to tell us this. I love that. Yeah. Are we allowed to talk about um, the person paying you to talk to them since it's over? Since it didn't happen, I will say I and do think I got down. scammed <laughs> too because after I said no to the other one, another person came from the woodworks and said something, and I was like. Well, now you, you know. got to explain what's happened. Well, okay, so I was DM'd by somebody to be paid just to chat. <laughs> so, you know, I could silence, okay. Um, and Was it like sexual chat? No, it was just regular chat. And so I was like, I mean, people, whatever. People look for companionship. Yeah, so I was like, We were all okay. pro it. We can say that. We were pro uh, yeah. Do it, do it. Make the money. We, I, mean, I no, felt weird it. doing it. I'm like not that type of person, but I was like, all right, whatever. Type that and it was the type of money where I was like, 
for two weeks, I could pay everything off. So I was like, okay. And, and then, you said you're not that kind of person? Dang. If I was in your position and I had a lot of debt, I would do a lot of things. <laughs> like, if, I was, if I didn't already have a lot of money and I was in your position, which I would never would be. Because That's I not a lot what I said, Zach. No, I know. Because so, I'm so liquid. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, here, wait, wait, wait. What? I thought you were going to make a liquid joke. No. Oh, uh, you looked at him in such a way that you would be like, I'll liquid. Sometimes you have those little, you know, you'll throw that out there. And I apologize. I, I paused for you to, and now we just derailed everything. Anyway, you're getting, you're used to getting. Um, Railed. Continue. Yeah, so. Anyways, long story short is he was about to like pay me and it was through Cash App. And he had me like apparently go through like Bitcoin or something. And he was like oh, saying no. that <laughs> I had to put money into this account. And I was like, I'm not. And then he, I kept saying, no, no, I'm done. Thank you. Like goodbye. And Thank he kept you. like. It's like a Ouija board. I'm done. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. And he kept like talking and like asking me and like being like it's fine it's fine and he sent me videos of people like saying thank you like for the money all that stuff and yeah it was a scam scam. the guy guy was like when it's bitcoin it's a scam yeah i was like damn he was like i'll send you money but first you have to donate just some money to this charity (laughs) i was the first guy oh this is another guy there's been another what the other guy say that was the one i just the story i just told the first guy was like you have to put money into this thing for a charity of my choosing. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. Were there, so the wait, second there were guy multiple was saying guys? something similar, like you have to put money in. To the bank account. Oh, yeah. No, we have to get you on like. Um, you didn't put it in there, did you? No. Only no. no um, what's that one like website where it's like you can find like sugar daddies just to talk to? Oh, to catch a predator. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dot com. Dot com. No. What's that org thing? No, it's like. Uh, also, to fr- to. Preference. I do not want this. I did Wait, not. Why? I did, Wait, why? No, you do say want, that. If it's someone reasonable and reliable, like don't if Jeff that. Bezos was like, who hey, doesn't want a sugar daddy? I want some companion. I'd text well, Jeff I Bezos. Just, I don't know. I feel we- I'd I just love feel a sugar daddy. As long as I guess you're not putting yourself in danger with oh. anything, I feel like they should have to group chat one of us in, like one of the guys. No, or, yeah. or Alyssa, just agree to do it and then hire somebody else to text on your behalf. Don't say it like that because you know how many people watch this podcast and are probably going to be like, yeah, I'll do that. And then they pay and now they know that. Cut that out, Jared. <laughs> Got a spam risk. <laughs> That's the guy. It's like, oh, hell. Um, you, here, let, let's just, you want to straight to camera? I'll do it for you. Hey, guys, if you guys want to, you know, whisper sweet nothings through messaging, um, SMS or iMessage uh, to Alyssa um, for cash, uh, please let us know in the comments down below uh, how much you would pay per day or per, we'll, we'll do a per week basis. How many messages a week do they get for that? Um, Maybe four. Fi- four? 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 Four messages back and forth. Hello and goodbye are Two, half of yeah. it. Ten. A thousand. A hundred. A hundred. I see. That's a. I hate constant. You're on your forth. phone all the f- time. Anyway. But you also hate. Yeah, but I don't want to like. Don't you also hate debt? <laughs> Girl, yep. send the hundred messages. And don't you love Italy? <laughs> <laughs> Get yeah, that citizenship. That have to do with that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A hundred. A hundred messages for a week, and what's your price? Um. <laughs> okay. Had a girl. Dude, that reminded you me of like Austin the- Powers one million dollars. <laughs> you better be the most conversational person if you're charging a thousand bucks. No, I for think it's great. Text. I think it's great. What you should just do is say your Venmo out loud right now and just see what type of reaction yeah. you get. First and last name. <laughs> yeah, 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 go ahead. I Dude, that'd well, be crazy well, if she gets richer than like all of us. <laughs> well, I'll update you guys next week if she made any cash. <laughs> <laughs> we got to update on the exact cash, or cash amount. We we're putting on the screen for <laughs> asking people for money. I'm Don't not. Send money. Do I'm not, not send money. Uh, no, but if you do, do it in a funny way. Send like six dollars and ninety cents or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. I got me. <laughs> yeah. Is anyone else hungry? Oh, really hungry. What time is it? It's, uh, almost one. I, I just want to say that Zach perfectly deflected away from no, the dryer situation no, I'll, to I'll, the bank situation. Okay, wait, let's finish the dryer thing. Yeah, go go ahead. off. Go off on EJ. Okay. Okay. So, right. Call them, return it. And I tell them, so the return policy is, uh, has to be in the original packaging, 35% restocking fee. I was like, well, the guys that delivered it took the original packaging with them. And he's like, oh, they're not supposed to do that. But uh, let me talk to my supervisors. We get it cleared up. He's like, cool, uh, we'll pick that up. He's And he's like, do you want to order uh, the new, what? I just, I'm having a really hard time ke- keeping up and okay. I know what's happening. Okay, so anyway, um, he's like, we can pick up the, the old, dryer do you want the new one delivered on the same day i was like yes that sounds fantastic few weeks go by they come to pick up the old dryer and we're like hey do you have the new one and they go 
no, nah, that's not us. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking also, about? Who else would it be? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And so then uh, I email them again and I'm like, hey, where's the new dryer? It was supposed to be shipped on the same day. They're like, oh, that order never got placed. I was like, motherfucker. So then, but this is one email a day at a time, like the worst customer service I've ever dealt with. And then, so finally, like three days later, they're like, okay, cool. New dryer shipping out to you from New Jersey. So it has to ship across and the entire country. a great state to get a dryer from. Great state to get a dryer from. A long time to get to, get to California. So they're good. They wrote their wrongs. Until they send the tracking information and I read it and the item description is a fucking washer. <laughs> they got you. They got us. And then, so I emailed them. I was like, hey, is this a mistake on the tracking information or did you guys actually send a washer? And they're like, no, we actually sent a washer. So I'm like, okay, well, can you turn the washer around and send us a dryer? And they're like, they're like, yeah, we could probably do that. And I was like, okay, but we're not paying the restocking fee and I want a discount on the dryer. And they're like, okay, we can do that. So they send the washer back and then they, I hear nothing from them for that like, was like a week ago, right? Yeah. I hear nothing from them for like four days and I keep following up. And then I asked them finally again. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, Hey, is the new dryer order place and is it coming? And they go, they just emailed this morning and said, I regret to inform you that I do not see any record of a replacement dryer <laughs> order being placed. And they're like, do you still want to buy it? Let me, can I run? Absolutely point? fucking not. I don't want to deal with this company anymore. Can I run point on this? Let me. I, I, no, Zach already sent me an eBay link for the exact dryer that we need purchased. It's on its way. Anyway, that's Anyways, my... Anyways, we've been without a wash and dryer for like a month We've now. been hanging so clothes like a month and a pilgrims. half. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, how do you dry your clothes? Hanging oh, out sorry. there in the wind. God's, <laughs> no. God's dryer. <laughs> but then we're hanging out there in the wind. It was hailing this morning. Right. Brother, that's a risky idea. That's, that's, that's an element thing. And that's a texture thing you're going to love in your clothes later. <laughs> and I left... You know how the dryer makes your delicates nice and like kind of... Delicates? Soapy? Your yeah. thongs? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Call like, it what it is. It was in the like, 40s? What was that? The, my, that was, we're talking like, about Australian it was like socks and delicates. underwear and all that. And then I laid them out to dry my dresser. And lay them outside. They're like hard. Well, if you lay them oh. outside in the sun, they're not hey, hard. I you know, there's a, you. I want to say I'm this to you guys. I'm not laying my thongs outside in the thing where everyone can see Why? me. What's wrong with we your thongs hanging out? My a, thong hangs out all the time. We, all you yeah. can see them are us three. We're not going to smell them if you're around. <laughs> We also have a bush wall going around. Yeah, we don't our care about your bag. bush at all. God damn. <laughs> she, she was like, she was like, I don't want them to sit outside because they'll smell like outside. I'm like, no, no that, they won't. Yeah, they will. Here's my suggestion When's to you guys. the last time you've put clothes outside? Recently. Smell this. Is that an outside hoodie? I'm not no, that smells sweatshirt. great. Outside. <laughs> well, like, I was like, how long ago? ago. That and like two days ago. The Lord's laundry mat. No. Okay, I have a suggestion. There is actually a company where you can instead of going to like a laundromat, which is like the obvious answer, I know Zach's a little bougie. There's a company you can call, you are. There's a company you can call and they come pick up your laundry and drop it off like same day. You guys know that, right? That sounds really, way I'll more keep bougie dry. than going to the laundry <laughs> mat. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll do it, yeah. So, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. We've so been going to the right dry in. cleaners. Oh, that's, well, that's fine. But it's expensive. Yeah, don't go to the dry cleaner. Yeah, you but we're helping, dry local, clean. we're helping local businesses. I think on the next episode, this is, uh, this is related to your bougie We need to get Robbie on here. And we just all need to like come up with like for the past him. three weeks what Zach's purchased, and I want you to be able to defend it, and then I want Robbie to either defend it. Oh uh, yeah, we'll He's get Robbie. C O O, not C F O. She Who's C F O? We don't have one. <laughs> Can <laughs> I be C F O? <laughs> no. Fuck. Hired. <laughs> Thank you. That's kind of how I got on this podcast. Exactly. <laughs> My only qualm with that is I feel like Zach will have such a good like response, and, and Robbie will be like, oh, "Okay, yeah, that checks out." <laughs> no. There he is. There he is, the rat bastard. You <laughs> 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 told you. I told you. Guys, worth you. Of he, just, he just came by and said, "Excuse me, some of those purchases are justified." <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, he wanted Don't to put an Don't let him get away with any of this. He wanted to do an LED wall for what? Tax right off. That's not, number one, okay, it's not a tax. House okay. of the Dragon 2 comes out this summer, and if you don't want to watch something on a 25-foot wall, then you don't get to come to you the warehouse You are also looking it. up $300,000 projectors. I'm not going to get one. I can't afford that. <laughs> okay, That's okay. just fun. Like, Hold sometimes on. you look up a Lamborghini, and you're like, Hold that'd on. be fun to drive. Okay, what about the $50,000 If Zach $1? gets an LED wall, can I get a new car? Yes. <laughs> 
That's no. not well, business. How right does all. that make any sense? If it's six thousand pounds, <laughs> I also drive to and from here every day, and you guys all live here. So. Yes, I say yes. No. All right. in favor? Aye. Aye. Nay. No. Nay. Three Robbie. nays. Robbie, Absolutely keep not. your fucking hand down. <laughs> In your mouth shut. <laughs> if you do go get a car, can I come with you to like check them out? That's fine. I also yeah. need a new car. I wish I had a car. You just got one. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening, watching. Go over to the Patreon right now. You're going to get some extra footage of this podcast. Um, we've also got some juicy stuff about, you know, Tara and I are going to say some stuff that uh, we haven't put online yet. Obviously, we can't do it here. Um, you can go see the drunk episodes. You uh, better communication to talking to us. Um, also, if you want merch, live shows early. Um, all the good stuff, extra, blah, 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 Patreon down below. All right, guys, thank you so much. Remember to write in the comments something about something that I asked. What was it? What was your favorite song? Oh, oh yeah, which of uh, the songs that um, I and made? And if anyone wants to make songs disparaging Zach. Yeah, please. why disparaging? It's called, why? I think it's called Sona <laughs> AI. Bye. 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 We need to get sponsored by them. Oh. Um. <laughs> What? Yeah, yeah, yeah.